wanted to make a video going through my process as I prepare for yet another gig. This video is all about the planning stage. I have a group performance coming up in about two weeks. I'm playing as part of a four piece improvisational quartet. So I wanted to take you through my thought process, the prototyping stage and everything else right up until the performance itself. The people in the quartet are Shane on vocals, Dan on piano, and David on modular synth, and also me. I'll be playing percussion from a computer. While planning this patch, it's important that I put emphasis on working with the group. So I'm going to have to make three different types of considerations, technical, practical, and stylistic. First up is technical considerations. Two of the performers are working completely live, Shane on vocals and Dan on piano. Both of them are highly skilled improvisers, so I don't really need to worry about them. They can handle anything I throw at them. David is using a modular synth with a step sequencer, so he needs a clock signal and maybe a reset signal too. I've previously owned a Eurorack modular system for about four years before I sold it all to focus on computer music. So I'm intimately familiar with control voltages and gate signals. I have a four channel sound card, so I'll try to figure out how to use the extra two channels for control voltage purposes. I've never used the sound card in any other way except as a two channel stereo output. So hopefully using the extra two channels is a simple process and doesn't bring any problems. Second is practical considerations. As the rhythmic driving force behind the group, it's super important that no matter how crazy my beats get, that people are still able to follow what I'm doing. So I'm going to make sure that the kick drum on the first beat is always slightly louder and sonically distinct to all the other beats. I want to play in different time signatures as well, so it needs to be really obvious where the first beat is. And finally, stylistic choices. I want to be able to move between four different flavors of beats. Simple pulses, straight ahead, syncopated, and free running polyrhythms. I want to be able to re-pitch the kick in real time so that I can stay in the same key as the piano. I also want to be able to change the sounds on the fly. That's the sounds of the different beat instruments. And I need to do a bunch more obvious stuff like start and stop, controlling the tempo, changing time signatures, all the usual stuff. So with all that taken into account, I can start the planning stage. I'm going to make all my MIDI controller assignments first and then work backwards from that. This way I can think about how I want my patch to finish as an instrument rather than worrying about the technical details first and letting that dictate the design. I'm going to use a spreadsheet to mock up the controller designs. I'll also use this to figure out how many percussive instruments I can fit onto the MIDI controller play surface. With all that done, I have a roadmap to start programming and bringing my instrument together. In my next video, I'll be building this instrument in pure data. So that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.